Hey everybody, CyberMark here. Today I'm going to go over flaws.cloud level four. All right, we're going to be learning about the EC2 service, Elastic Block Storage or EBS, uh, what is a snapshot, and then we'll discover how an attacker would use uh, a snapshot of an EBS volume to reconstitute a part of the file system and find some old credentials in it. For the next level, you need to get access to the web page running on an EC2 at that address. It'll be useful to know that a snapshot was made of that EC2 shortly after Nginx was set up. Okay, so let's just go ahead and go to that address, paste it into a new tab. And what we should see is a login screen. All right, so what we need to do here is find the username and password, okay? All right. I'm going to unauthorize, right? Because I haven't, I didn't enter a username and password. A couple of things I want to go over first. Uh, they mentioned snapshots uh, where I have the documentation here for uh, EBS snapshots, and they also mention uh, volumes. So I find that reading through the documentation, like taking your time as you're doing these challenges and improving your cloud skills uh, was really helpful, right? So I kind of had the idea that an EBS volume was some sort of storage. Uh, turns out it's specifically for EC2 instances, and this sentence here, you can mount these volumes as devices on your instances. So let's you know go ahead and see how, how that makes sense when we look at EBS snapshots, okay? So snapshots are incremental backups of the blocks on the device that have changed since your most recent snapshot, but when it's the first one, it has everything. So it's your volume. It's a backup of your volume. Um, and so we're, that's what we're going to use to create our own volume and then mount that on our own EC2 instance. So without any further ado, let's jump over to the terminal. A couple of things of note for my terminal session. I've actually changed my default profile. So my default profile was my own Amazon account but I've changed it to the credentials that we found in level three. So I, catted, I, I redirected those to a file called, let's see, access keys, yeah. And so those are the credentials we found in level three. Now using those, I'm gonna do an AWS EC2 describe instances. So these are gonna be all the instances associated uh, with the account that owns flaws.cloud. And so that's going to take just a second. And we got quite a few different instances that are part of that. We need just one. So another uh, command we can run is going to be describe volumes. OK, so here we get just the volume information that we need for an EC2 instance. OK, all right, so volume ID right there. We'll go ahead and copy that. And we have a snapshot ID. We'll get that one too. Let's copy that. All right. So AWS EC2. And let's uh, describe the snapshot. Describe snapshots. And then we'll use the snapshot ID. I could put the right uh, flags in. I think it is snapshots. Yep, and then dash dash snapshot ID. There we go. And then we're going to insert their snapshot ID. Don't you just love tab uh, to complete things? <laughs> if something's not working, uh, that's why I tell people tab often so that you know when you're running into an error. Tab is your friend on the command line. All right, so we're going to hit enter on that. And this is the specific snapshot for the volume that we saw tied to this specific EC2 instance that's running, all right? Okay, so what I'm going to do is create a my own volume based on that snapshot and attach it to an EC2 instance that I'm running in my account. And then we'll just, it's just like when I say attach, think of it like plugging in the USB stick or an external hard drive to your computer 
we're doing that in the cloud, right? So I'm gonna run a command here that I've copied from my notes. Okay, let's go over this command. So we have AWS EC2, because we're working with the EC2 service, and I'm gonna create a volume with the snapshot ID of that ID that we have. Now, snapshots and volumes are uh, dependent on the regions where they were created. So if I wanna create a volume based on that snapshot ID, I needed to do, I needed to create that volume in a specific availability zone. All right, so the profile I'm gonna use is going to be called flaws, because remember my default profile is our target or the flaws.cloud uh, credentials. Now I need to use my own because I'm attaching it to an EC2 instance that I'm running. So we're gonna also need to add region onto here. So dash, dash region, US West two. And I'm not sure if this order will work. Let's hit enter and see. Okay. Uh, so it worked. We created our own volume based on a snapshot that we found, a snapshot ID that we found. All right, let's go over to my console. So after the page refreshed, uh, you can see that I have two volumes now, right? And one was created after the other. So the one that was created about 45 minutes later, right? That's the one that I want to attach. So I'm gonna select that and I'm going to attach it. This is just like plugging in a hard drive to a computer, right? So attach the volume. Fantastic. Okay, minimize that and go back to our terminal. So I need to get the IP address of my EC2 instance. Uh, I like doing that on the command line, so let's do that here. So I'm gonna do AWS EC2 describe instances and then I'm going to dash dash profile laws pipe that to grep dash I case insensitive for public IP let that churn for a little bit must specify a region okay let's go back before our grep before our profile and do dash dash region us west two that way it knows which region in the world to look for my instances okay all right got my public ip address you see that pops up several times in the json file i just like grabbing things uh, with grep it's kind of fun and yeah it's i can now copy it and paste it right in so let's do in let me see, I do have my PEM file there. So I'm gonna do SSH dash I, my key file there. And I'm going to do, I think it was just Ubuntu at, and then I'm gonna copy that IP address and paste it in. Cool. And we should be authenticating with our private key. And you can see that our PS1 variable or our prompt has changed to this Ubuntu at that IP address. Great, so we are in our EC2 instance right now. All right, so let's look at slash dev. We have all these different devices here in slash dev. Okay. Okay, so it's actually XVDF or XVDF1. Uh, so it's gonna be this one right here. We saw that little note on our console. So when I'm exploring different volumes, uh, I like to make their own directory at the top of the file system. So I'm gonna make a directory called explore, uh, and it's gonna be at the top of the file system. So let's do that. Let's sudo bang bang, because I forgot to do that. So sudo, because the Ubuntu user does not have uh, permissions to create directories at the top of the file system, uh, adding sudo permissions will allow you to do that. All right, and sudo bang bang says, do sudo on on my last command. The bang is very common in IT and cyberspeak for an exclamation point. And because we're at the top of the file system, so you can see two ways of doing this. You can add sudo 
to that, or you can do a sudo bang bang. I like doing it that way. Now we are going to CD and I'm going to show you a trick. I'm going to push the escape key and push dot. Uh, and what that does is it gives the last argument to your last command. So I didn't have to type out slash explore. I am there now. And let's get some terminal real estate here going. All right. So we'll do an LS. OK, so this looks like a standard file system. Now we're going to list out the home directory. And we have Ubuntu. So let's do that again. And in there, we have two files. So I'm going to go to that directory. So CD, again, escape dot. All right. We have these two directories. So if I cat out meta, oh, I'm sorry, metadata. Uh, there's some metadata, looks like it's blank. All right, that's where metadata is supposed to go. And then I'm going to cat out that setup nginx script sh. And there we go. We have a username, flaws, and a password is this long string here. So this is the exciting part. Let's go ahead and pull up our terminal and go back to this web page and type in and paste in the password. Here we go. The suspense is killing me. <laughs> Not really. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna highlight flaws because it's late and I make typos. So flaws and then the password is this long string. Copy and paste is your friend. Uh, when you're doing long passwords like that, paste and sign in. Here we go. We've been told we did good work. So uh, this video took me a little bit longer to get out. I wanted to make sure I covered all the details. This is like take number I lost count, uh, probably about 15. Um, not that I'm trying to get it perfect, right? We're all humans. We're all, uh, I'm doing these exercises because I want to improve my cloud security uh, knowledge. I understand cloud at a, you know, fundamental level um, when it comes to what the services are. Um, not every service, obviously, but what is a service? Uh, I understand cybersecurity and I understand information systems, right? So as professionals, we have to grow. Um, the best way to do that is to get hands on with the technology and then you're able to understand some nuances about it better. All right, that's all I have for you today. Uh, thanks for sticking with me on that. And I look forward to showing you level five when I get there. All right, take care. Bye.